Hi, the Astro 30 here, and today's video is a little bit different. Today we're going to review random stuff found on YouTube to do with electronic circuits. Do they work, or are they crap? Let's find out. Let's try that again without my phone ringing and interrupting my thought process. Um, hello, I was looking through the internet yesterday looking for actually a pinout uh, for that TIP35C transistor so I knew what the pins were so I could test it um, and I came across this video as one of the several top results it's a three-year-old video and it says it's a do-it-yourself amplifier with transistor TIP35C now I can uh, see where this is going because I've seen a lot of circuits like this on YouTube before including ones using MOSFETs and they always turn out really bad. So let's uh, do something a little bit different. We'll review the video together and then uh, I might actually build the thing up and we'll see how well it actually works. I'm not holding up very high hopes at the moment. Oh, crappy music. I'm going to have to mute that. Okay, a 1K resistor. Going across base and collector. Doesn't look like there's any even any numbers on that TIP 35C. 100 microfarad coming on the base. Yeah, I can see where this is going. Yeah, okay. A potentiometer. Okay, obviously the emitter is common ground. Okay, 470 microfarad, 16 volt. These values of the capacitors are way too high. At least he's using a proper soldering iron. Okay, DC power jack, fine. And a speaker. Oh no. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he's doing it. Never do that. Okay, mounting to a heatsink at least, so at least the transistor won't overheat and die. I'd hate to be that speaker though. God, this music is annoying. Okay, he's doing a sound test. Okay, from what I can hear, it sounds pretty distorted. Um, yeah, that was pretty bad. I have seen some pretty bad implementations of transistor amplifiers all over YouTube uh, in general. That's got to be the worst. It sounded distorted. And the way it's wired is, <laughs> you just you just don't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw the schematic for it properly, so we can actually see how he's wired it. Right. Well, this is is uh, right. Well, this is the redrawn schematic, so we can actually see visually what's going on. It is pretty bad. There's a few problems with this circuit already. Number one. 
this transistor will be operating in class A, so there will always be current flowing through this transistor all the time. Which means there will also be a DC voltage flowing through this transistor all the time. That DC voltage is f flowing through the voice coil of this uh, speaker. Speakers do not like DC current flowing through them. Any more than a volt flowing through that speaker, that speaker is not going to last very long. Second problem is the values of these capacitors are way too high. They don't need to be this high. Even something like 2.2 microfarad would have done here. The other problem is this choice of resistor I reckon is way too low. This is going to be turning this transistor on very hard almost into the point of saturation which could explain why there's a lot of distortion on the output from what I could hear. So big no-no, never connect a speaker driver directly to a DC source. There are two ways that this could be done better but I'll explore that at the end of the video and I don't want to make this video too long because I don't really like having to deal with crap on the internet. So. What I'll do is I'll quickly build this circuit up. I have a couple of TRP35Cs knocking about and I'll stick it on some test equipment. I'm definitely not putting it on a speaker driver. And we'll actually see visually on a scope how well this thing works or not. Okay, so I've got this Indian wank built. Yes, I just did say that. I don't have it on a heatsink. I've got it hooked up to my dummy load there in the background as a surrogate speaker connected the way it was connected in the uh, video. I've also got a 220 RM resistor here in series with what's going to the positive to which I've got my multimeter there me measuring the DC voltage drop across that resistor so I can see how much current the circuit is drawing when it's idle. And I've got my almost depleted 9 volt battery. I might have to come up with another solution in a minute but uh, for now we'll just you go with this. Okay so I'll connect the battery to the circuit holy shit 7.5 volt drop all right so the current is 7.5 volt drop roughly divided by our resistance which is 220 ohms gives us around about 34 ma which is not bad all right so now i know it's not drawing so much current i want to know what my initial battery voltage is uh 9.23 so it was only 7.5 so that's good okay so now i've got my meter connected in line with the collector and the positive so I'll see what voltage I'm getting in on the output almost full battery voltage as soon as I connect the load so I've got roughly 3.4 odd volt on the output there so that's what's going through the speaker driver alright next test I've got my oscilloscope hooked up to the dummy load the audio generator connected to the input I've actually changed that to that uh, input capacitor from a thousand microfarad. I misspoke in the uh, review to 2.2 because 1,000 is way too high. So let's connect voltage. Try that again. Um, Well, it is actually amplifying. I'm getting 2.78 out. However, I think that's a lot less than what I'm putting in. That is getting mildly hot, so I'm not going to run it for too long. I was actually interested to see what I was putting in, and I'm putting in 4.18 volt peak to peak, so uh, about nearly twice as much is going in as what's coming out. As an amplifier this is not really turning out that great so yeah we're almost getting about half the voltage back out so yeah it's not really amplifying anything although I'm kind of not surprised so this little concoction whatever the hell you want to call it is not really worth the time or effort building unless you want to destroy your loudspeaker of course so I'm only running mine on 9 volt or 8 volt close to it 
yeah, it's not looking good. That is a complete waste of time. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with it. However, I will tidy up now and I will conclude this video. Please, guys, stop making these videos unless you have a basic understanding of how the circuit actually works, because you can actually cause a lot of problems for a lot of people by destroying stuff like loudspeakers. Just saying. So, how can we make this better? Well, for a starter. We will change the polarity of that capacitor so the positive is actually on the base. Change that value to 2 microfarad 2. And that one can be the same for all intents and purposes. It doesn't matter. Get rid of this junk. And that's one method I would use a transformer, say 1 or 3K to 8 ohm. That way there'll be no DC on the speaker. Another way of doing it, you can put a resistor in here, say 10K. And a capacitor of 1000 microfarad. then connect it to your speaker but connect it to the common ground that'll be the better implementation not how they had it anyway i'm going to leave this video here if you enjoyed it please remember to rate comment and subscribe below and you can always follow me on facebook and you become a patreon for as little as a dollar a month hit those links in the description guys anyway this is astro 30 saying don't believe everything you see on the internet